The film opens in 1954 toward the beginning of a security hearing for eminent physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer, Killian Murphy. It hops between the next years as Chief Naval Officer Louis Strauss, Robert Downey Jr., joined by his helper, Alden Ehrenreich, is acting against Oppenheimer during a Senate hearing because of accepting he has connections to socialism, as well as an individual resentment coming from when the two met back in 1947. Strauss had attempted to select Oppenheimer to a situation at Princeton. Oppenheimer offers a deigning comment about Strauss' experience as a shoe sales rep, and later, Strauss looks as Oppenheimer addresses Albert Einstein, Tom Conti. At the point when Strauss attempts to welcome Einstein, the man doesn't recognize him, and Strauss is left to accept that Oppenheimer expressed something about him to Einstein. Back in 1924, Oppenheimer starts as a material science understudy at Cambridge under Patrick Blackett, James Darcy. Oppenheimer needs to go to a talk by Niels Bohr, Kenneth Branagh, however Blackett makes him stay behind and complete the process of dealing with his task. Oppenheimer goes into the bureau and infuses an apple directly in front of Blackett with potassium cyanide, prior to sneaking off to Bohr's talk. The following day, Oppenheimer by and by meets Bohr and prevents him from eating the spoiled apple. Bohr is intrigued by Oppenheimer's information and exploration, and he urges him to instruct himself where he will feel less controlled. Oppenheimer starts learning at the College of Göttingen, where he meets Isidore Rabi, David Krumholtz, and makes progress toward his PhD. Alongside Rabi, they meet hypothetical physicist Werner Heisenberg, Matthias Schweigerfe, whom Oppenheimer respects as a persuasive figure in his work. He later starts educating at Berkeley back in the States, where he is alluded to as Oppie by his friends, including Nobel Prize victor Ernest Lawrence, Josh Hartnett. Oppenheimer starts his talks with only one understudy, Giovanni Lomanitz, Josh Zuckerman, yet later winds up having a lot bigger and more full class. Oppenheimer later goes to a socialist coalition gathering with his more youthful sibling straightforward, Dylan Arnold, and his sweetheart. There, Oppenheimer meets and becomes a close acquaintance with Hacken Chevalier, Jefferson Lobby. He then meets Jean Tatlock, Florence Pugh, talking with her prior to taking her to bed. After sex, Jean glances through the books on the rack and takes one out in Sanskrit, requesting that Oppenheimer decipher. It peruses, and presently I'm become demise, the destroyer of universes. Oppenheimer goes with Plain and Lawrence to a farm in Los Alamos. Plain and his sweetheart host formally joined the socialist gathering, which Oppenheimer deters, in spite of his own left-inclining political perspectives that procure him caused a stir. He posts support for the Spanish transformation, which Lawrence questions. Oppenheimer Lee joins the League of Modelers, specialists, scientists and professionals, feet, which further fuel others' interests that Oppenheimer is a socialist. During an evening out with Jean, Oppenheimer sees one of his understudies, Luis Alvarez, Alex Wolff, responding madly on the grounds that news has broken that the Germans have parted the uranium core by assaulting neutrons through atomic splitting. Afterward, during a party with the feet, Oppenheimer learns of Hitler attacking Poland. Oppenheimer later meets Catherine Kitty Puening, Emily Gruff, an individual from the socialist faction who is now in a weak marriage. After she parts from her significant other, Kitty starts a relationship with Oppenheimer, in the end wedding and getting pregnant by him. He goes to sever things with Jean, who is disturbed in spite of before attempting to advise Oppenheimer that she would have rather not proceeded with the undertaking. Kitty brings forth a child, Peter, and she turns into a heavy drinker. The two leave Peter with Chevalier while they go on an outing. At the college, Oppenheimer is met by broad Leslie Forrests, Matt Damon, and Lt. Col. Kenneth Nichols, Dane DeHaan, to select him to be the head of the Manhattan venture to foster a nuclear bomb during the Second Great War. Oppenheimer starts to select different researchers like Richard Feynman, Jack Quaid, Kenneth Bainbridge, Josh Peck. Seth Nettermeyer, Devin Bostick, Lily Hornig, Olivia Thurlby, as well as Lomanitz and Alvarez. They set up for business in Los Alamos where they develop a phony town close to the testing site. Edward Teller, 
Benny Softy, is gotten, and after he surveys the schematics and parts of the bomb, Oppenheimer and the others understand with ghastliness that in some unacceptable hands, a nuclear bomb all the more impressive that the nuclear bomb can be created and potentially cause a chain response that will obliterate the world. After some more exploration, the possibilities are decreased to almost zero. Another flash forward shows Oppenheimer shaping a program for the nuclear bomb with the Nuclear Energy Commission. The men accumulate with their associates after the Soviet Association tests their nuclear bomb. Strauss and Nichols, both firm enemies of socialists, examine the thought that there were a few socialists dealing with the Manhattan undertaking. During the security hearing, Oppenheimer's association with Chevalier is examined because of him attempting to get information on the task for the Russians, which was double-crossing. Lomanitz was likewise drafted because of his contribution in left-wing governmental issues making him seem to be a gamble. The matter is likewise convoluted further during Oppenheimer's experience on the task when he meets Colonel Boris Pash, Casey Affleck, who is the venture's head of safety and furthermore by and by pursues socialists. An enemy of socialist legal counselor, William Borden, David Distmalchin, gives the individua, from the conference an arraignment on Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer's relationship with Jean is likewise raised doubt about, with flashbacks showing that he proceeded with their undertaking. He owns up to his infidelity with Kitty present in the room, and she imagines Jean engaging in sexual relations with her better half before her. In 1949, Jean ends it all by means of an excess and suffocating in the bath, in spite of the fact that there is a speedy look at what has all the earmarks of being a hand compelling her head into the water, proposing Jean was conceivably killed and was positioned to seem to be a self-destruction. Kitty finds Oppenheimer in the forest having a breakdown over the news, however she advises him to get a hold of himself. At some point during the task's turn of events, Bohr is brought to Los Alamos in the wake of being adhered in Europe because of Nazi occupation. He adds to the undertaking's work with Oppenheimer and Teller. Bohr lets Oppenheimer know that he is enabling humankind to annihilate themselves. After Hitler's passing, the group go on with the venture since they realize the Japanese are proceeding with their wartime endeavors. The group completes a few bomb tests. After some time, they wonderful their bomb and prepare to start what Oppenheimer calls the Trinity Test. Everybody accumulates at a protected distance around evening time and plan for the result. The bomb explodes and delivers a strong mushroom cloud and resulting shockwave. Oppenheimer then, at that point, rehashes the expression, and presently I'm become passing, the destroyer of universes. The group praises their prosperity. President Harry Truman Gary Oldman, later drops nuclear bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which starts to burden Oppenheimer's still, small voice over the subsequent setbacks. He gives a discourse to the group, who are rooting for him, however he imagines the impact of the bomb burning everybody. Oppenheimer later meets Truman, who at first compliments him on the bomb's turn of events, however when Oppenheimer says he has blood on his own hands, Truman sends him out and calls him a crybaby. Years after the fact around the hour of the Senate hearing, Strauss lets his helper know that Candid was boycotted from each college due to being a socialist, Lomenitz wound up dealing with a railroad, and Chevalier went in banishment. Oppenheimer had started to go after an arms control program rather than one for the nuclear bomb, however Truman dismissed it. Strauss had likewise educated Oppenheimer that one regarding the individuals from the Manhattan undertaking, Klaus Fuchs, Christopher Denham, was a government operative for the Soviets and took care of them data on their innovative work. Oppenheimer's backing for halting advancement of additional atomic weapons is peered downward on because of the virus war. Strauss is likewise seen working with Borden and Nichols to attempt to get more soil on Oppenheimer. Over the course of the hour of the security hearing, Kitty ends up being angry at Oppenheimer for apparently attempting to behave destructively himself with the goal that he might seem to be a saint because of his responsibility over his creation. Oppenheimer is examined by Roger Robb, Jason Clark, as others like Teller, Robbie, Forrests, and Pash give declarations about their time enjoyed with the man. 
ROG requests to know where Oppenheimer's perspectives on atomic weapons advancement changed, and he says it was the point at which he understood that America would utilize anything weapon that needed to succeed no matter what. On account of Teller and Forrest's, Oppenheimer is at last considered faithful to America, yet he has his trusted status denied and loses his political impact. Strauss strives for a situation on the Senate, yet previous professional David Slope, Rami Malek, gives a declaration against Strauss because of his activities against Oppenheimer over private complaints, including a second during one more hearing where Oppenheimer alluded to Strauss as being more helpful than a sandwich. Strauss loses his opportunity at the Senate, and the associate turns on him subsequent to understanding his goals. The helper likewise tells him that JFK was against Strauss activities. We then, at that point, see the discussion Oppenheimer has with Einstein before Strauss approaches them. One more flash forward in their conversation shows Oppenheimer in 1963 getting the Enrico Fermi grant from President Lyndon B. Johnson. They discuss the ramifications that their work in atomic weapons might have begun a chain response that has destined the world.